Hey everyone, so I'm doing my October favorites and I know it's kind of late because um, it is November 11th and but I've been um, so busy. So anyway, I'm going to get into my beauty ones and then my random ones. So, I'm just going to do it in order that I have it sitting here. My first one is my CoverGirl blush that I got and they're the CoverGirl Cheekers. And I got it, this is the color um, Snow Plum. And it's really pretty and really, really pinkyish. And I know that's not really good for fall, but it's just so pretty. And it goes good with my foundation that I'm going to talk about in a second. Next is my Naked Palette. This is just probably in everyone's freaking October favorites because it's a, it's been in every single October favorite that I've seen. Um, I'll tell you the usual... Um, combination that I do that I do today. Um, I usually use these two on my inner part of my lid and I use these two on my outer part of my lid and then I use these two on my crease. And I love the brush that it actually comes with too so that's in there and I use it every single time I apply my eye eyeshadow which I don't usually use the eyeshadow every day since I've been like just not having time to do it but I pretty much use it all the time. Next is my Maybelline Line Stiletto. I have been wearing the wing every single day for school, every single day for anything, for work, for anything. And I've been using this. That's because of Chow Bella XO on here on YouTube. She like shows how she does it in her tutorials. I definitely love that. And it's so easy to use. Like it's so easy to apply the wing. And I just love it. And I love how precise it is. Next, I got this because of Makeup by Tiffany D. This is the Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. Um, I got it in the color Fair, which I got it in the lightest shade because your under eye concealer should always be lighter than your foundation just because it makes your eyes look more awake. This is probably definitely the best concealer I've ever used. And I even use it on pimples and everything like that and it still works. I definitely recommend this. Well, I use this all the time under my eyeshadow and it just makes it look brighter and it holds it really good. Next is my mascara that I've been using all month, um, every single day. I've been doing spider lashes which I also use my Voluminous Carbon Black by L'Oreal. But this tops it off. It's the Volume Accelerator by Rimmel, and I got it in Extreme Black, and it is the biggest brush I've ever seen in my life, like, it's so big, and it just clumps them even more than the Carbon Black does. Next is my foundation that goes good with that blush that I was showing you. It's the Revlon Age Defying um, Makeup, and I got this because I had a coupon on it. I'm definitely starting to use like age defining stuff or defying, not defining um, stuff because it just doesn't settle into the fine lines because it's trying not to make you look older. This looks, looks really well. It gives me an airbrush finish. I love it. It's not too thick. It goes well with the concealer also. Um, I'm in the shade 10 Bare Buff. And I don't know how much this is, but I this is probably like really old. But I got it from Walgreens with my coupon and I love it so much. I just like apply it to my hand and then use my multi purpose brush from um what is her name? Sonia Kush Kosh Cash Shook or whatever. So yeah, I really, really, really like this foundation and I use it every single day. My last two things are my NYX lip products. I have the lipstick and sash. And then I have the Mega Lip Shine or Mega Shine Lip Gloss that has mascara on it um, and Pink Frost. And they bo both go so well. Like, this is a really, really like pink. I'll swatch it for you. It's just so sheer and pink. You can't even see it really. And then, like, the lip gloss that goes over this over top of it gives it more color. And it's just so pretty over top of it. I don't know if it's going to give the same effect that it does on my lips. But yeah, there we go. And I just love it. And I know it's fall and I shouldn't be doing pink lips because that's a summer thing. But I'm doing it anyway. And those are my all my beauty favorites. Now I'm going to move into... This is kind of a beauty favorite, I guess. It's a hair product. This is my... It's wet because I just took a shower and I used it. It's my Shimmer Lights and I get this from Sally's. And I actually bought that probably like four years ago. I've been using it for four years. 
when I damaged my hair back in fresh on freshman year, I dyed it black and then I wanted it blonde and they completely bleached my hair and I had to dye it again to brown and then I slowly went up to blonde. So every time I went slowly up to blonde, I would use this and it just works so well. And now that I have highlights trying to um, block my roots that are actually coming back in, um, I use that. So it just works. Um, some people say the smell is really bad and it stays in their hair. It does not stay in my hair at all. It smells it smells really, really bad. It does. But um, it works with the blonde and the smell does isn't overpowering and it doesn't stay in my hair like it probably does for other people. I really, really recommend that for blonde hair if you're lightening your hair or anything like that. It's actually a purple toned um, shampoo, if you can see. Right, so I'm going to do my random favorite. So my random, my definitely random favorite right now is my phone and it's my iPhone and I wanted the um, iPhone 4S with the Siri on it but it was back ordered so I paid an extra $30 for this to get $300 off of the 4S when it comes back to Best Buy where I got it and I just love my phone so much. You should tell me some apps because I only have like I have my Twitter one, my Facebook one, I have some Angry Birds. I have a new Angry Bird game right there called Cut the Birds. I have um, dictionaries because I use a dictionary in my English class. Words with Friends, Find My iPhone. I have a flashlight app, a bubble busting app, um, a score center app for like Dallas Cowboys, and then I have a Sephora app um, that I just got today, and then I have the photo editing app that I just got today. So um, if you have any recommendations for an app, please tell me because I need more. But next, I'm probably going to tell you my favorite song, so... My favorite <coughs> song right now, this is probably like a, ooh, didn't mean to play it. This is probably a really dirty song, I guess, for other people. Celebration Remix featuring um, Chris Brown, Trey Songs, and it's by Tank. And it's just so pretty, and it's a slow song, and I just love it so much. Another one is probably this one by Big Sean called Dance. And I'm sorry if you don't listen to my um, kind of music, but I listen to rap and that's pretty much all I listen to, plus Justin Bieber, a little bit of Justin Bieber, which you can tell I actually took out my Justin Bieber stuff because I'm kind of not getting into him anymore. But I still have some of that, my posters up. And then I have a poster from my school. I have another Justin Bieber poster over there, and then I have a West Virginia University poster right there. So, yeah. Um, I don't have any food favorites, really. Um, probably Pizza Hut. Um, since I work there, I eat pizza all the time there because sometimes people mess up on the pizzas and we just sit there and grub on the pizza that we accident that they accidentally messed up on. Yeah, um, so that's it for my October favorites. And I guess I will see you for my November favorites. And it is my birthday tomorrow, so don't forget to wish me a happy birthday. I'm 17. So I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye. Um, I'm going to get into my September favorites and, or not September, what the heck, October, and I just freaking love it. I'm using a napkin to wipe this off because I have to go to work. I'm not going to go to work with a plus on my hand. So yeah.